Hello there! This is Opa Rancisis, and welcome back to the second part of looking through the Star Wars character encyclopedia. Part 1 will be in the link below. Here we only look at minor characters, so characters like Mace Windu, Luke Skywalker or Kylo Ren will be left out. Let's hop right into it. Enough chat. Let's do it. Do it. The Magna Guards were the personal bodyguards of General Grievous. They aided him during battles with Jedi. They were armed with electrostaffs, and I just love those weapons. The electricity on both sides were incredible. The Magna Guards could uh, still fight without the head, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, they were just very cool, that's from me, and uh, their manufacturer was Hello One Mechanicals. After the Battle of Jakku, the people of uh, the galaxy believed that there was no threat left as the whole empire was destroyed. This, however, wasn't true, as in Episode 7, The Force Awakens, we learned that an organization called the First Order uh, is still part of the Empire. However, the New Republic, uh, which was built after the Empire, did not want to go into war again, so they just simply... Uh, they didn't think the First Order was a big threat. And the First Order was hiding a lot of their stuff as just a military to protect planets in case of something. Uh, however, Corsella, uh, the, this character that is on screen right now, uh, she was between the Senate and Leia Organa, who, understanding that the New Republic won't help, uh, created the resistance uh, to fight the First Order. Corsella, however, uh, was in between Leia's not really legal resistance and the Republic. She was with the new Chancellor uh, during the fall of the Hosnian Prime system when it was destroyed by the uh, Starkiller base weapon. Kia Di Mundi was a Syrian Jedi Master from the planet Seria. He was also one of the highest ranking Jedi sitting on the Jedi High Council. And uh, he was well respected by the other Jedi and uh, had a very cool design. Well, for me, I mean, I love his head. It's, it's so amazing. Uh, however, he was unfortunately killed uh, by his clone troopers l led by Commander Bakara on Mijito during the uh, fight, and it was quite sad. He didn't quite understand what was happening. He managed to deflect a few laser blasts, but he failed and uh, died. His head has a very complex and clever brain. An amphibious Jedi Master called Kid Fisto was uh, probably one of the most minor characters in the entire saga. He was from the planet Glee Anselm and had very good uh, force abilities to detect other people's emotions. His species were called Nautolon. I'm sorry, I, my, I don't know how to pronounce it. Now Tolan. Now Tolan. No, uh, whatever. <clears throat> he was also one of uh, the Jedi who survived the Battle of Geonosis. <clears throat> he uh, was one uh, of the Jedi who also assisted Mace Windu in Palpatine's arrest. He was the longest one to survive, except for Mace Windu, however he was striked by Palpatine and was slaughtered in Palpatine's office. That is all for today. Stay tuned for part 3 of this 
uh, series. So, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click that notification bell. You'll be up to date with all my content. Also, I have a Facebook account now, so the link will go down below. Follow me there too. And uh, thank you and may the force be with you. Oprah and Sisis out.